Today we're going to be taking a look at the best roof rack options available for your 2010 Toyota 4Runner. Keep in mind, these three roof rack systems are going to be used with your factory raised side rails. Now when looking for roof rack systems for your vehicle, these are going to be the top three that you'll find. Up at the top we have the Thule Aeroblade roof rack system. In the middle we have the Yakima Jetstream roof rack system. And at the bottom we have the Rhinorack Vortex Aero roof rack system. Now with the Thule Aeroblade roof rack system, it's going to consist of part numbers THARB53, and those are going to be the Thule Aeroblade load bars. Now these also come in black as part number THARB53B. And to attach it to our factory race side rails, we're going to have the Thule Rapid Crossroad foot packs, part number TH450R. Now with the Yakima, the part numbers are going to be part number Y00425, these are the 50 inch long jet stream bars. Now these also come in silver, it's part number Y00428. To attach them to the factory race side rails, we have the Yakima Timberline Towers, and that's gonna be part number Y00147. And finally, with our Rhino Rack system, this is gonna be consisting of part numbers RRVA126B-2, this is going to be the Vortex Aero Crossbar, now this also comes in silver as part number RRVA126S-2. And then to grip it around the side rails, we're going to have the Yakima SX Series legs, part number RRSX005. Now each of these roof racks has their own advantages, and we'll go ahead and go over each one. We'll start off by pointing out the differences. Now looking at these three roof racks, the main difference right now is gonna be how they actually attach to the roof rack. Now while the Thule and Yakima actually have these rubber coated steel straps that will wrap around your factory raised side rail, you're going to notice that the runner rack actually comes in from either side and kind of clamps onto it that way. Now with all three bars, they're going to have this strip up at the top here and that coupled with the shape of the bars themselves are going to cut down wind noise and drag while you're driving. However, the Yakima is a little bit different. You see with the runner rack and the Thule bars, you're going to have to remove the strip, place in your accessory, cut the strip to length to put it back into place so you can continue to have that less wind noise and drag. However, with the Yakima, which is slightly different, instead of having the strip that pushes into place at the top, you're gonna to have this strip that actually pushes down. So once you install your T-Track accessories, you're not gonna to have to remove the strip at all or cut it back to length. Now with the Thule and the Yakima, we have these knockouts here, which can be removed and replaced with lock core systems from their respective companies. So once you actually install this onto your vehicle, it can be secure to your vehicle as well. Now to put your T-Track accessories into your Rhino Rack, we have this special tool that you have to unlock it to get to that T-Track. Now this is pretty unique because this is the only system out of the three that does come with this plastic lock already installed. However, you can have this replaced with a regular lock cylinder, which is sold separately as well. Now with Thule, you don't even have to remove your end cap to install your T-Track accessories. Instead, this part just swings out of the way and we have this channel to go directly into the T-Track. Now another thing that sets the Thule system apart is that its Titan tool is part of the foot pack itself. It tightens down right here. Now in conclusion, all three of these systems are great roof rack systems for your vehicle. However, as far as ease of install is concerned, the Thule is going to have the advantage as the Titan tool itself is part of the system so you can put this on and take this off wherever you go. However, with the Rhino Rack, this is going to be the system that actually comes with its own plastic lock right off the bat to help secure your T-Track accessories as well as your roof rack to your vehicle. They all come with the tools to tighten them down, and they all have the advantage of having great aerodynamics as far as cutting down wind noise and drag with the strips as well as the shape of the bars. We hope this makes your buying decision easier for your Toyota 4Runner. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.